Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to share some important information about phishing attacks that are specifically targeting iPhone users. These kind of scams happen every day and keep evolving, but this one has gained a lot of traction over the past month or so. I actually received one of these messages myself, not a regular text message, but an iMessage. At the time, I reported it and just deleted it, but then it hit me. This is something I should share with you guys. So I felt the need to hop on here, break it down, and show you exactly how it looks, and most importantly, help prevent you from falling victim to these criminals. Let's dive right in. Scammers are now using a new social engineering trick to exploit iPhone users by bypassing iMessage built-in link protection. Normally, iMessage disables links sent from unknown senders to protect you from phishing attacks. However, scammers have found a clever way around this by tricking you into replying to their message. Here's how it works. You'll receive a message that looks something like this. It might pretend to be from services like US Postal Services, UPS, FedEx, or even claim that it's an unpaid hold or a citation. The message often mimics the tone of legitimate appointment confirmation texts, like the ones you receive from doctors or dentists asking you to reply yes or no to confirm. These scam messages will include a link, but it won't be clickable. Instead, they'll provide instructions on how to enable it, such as press Y to activate or reply stop to unsubscribe. If you reply even with a harmless Y or stop, the iPhone interprets this as a confirmation that the sender is someone you know. Once that happens, the link in the message becomes clickable and no longer flagged as potentially unsafe. This trick is designed to catch you off guard, making you think there's an urgent issue, like an unpaid hold or missed package delivery. When you're rattled and stressed, you're more likely to follow the instructions and activate the link. But clicking on that link could expose you to malware, scams, or other risks. This tactic is becoming increasingly common, so let's dive in into some ways you can stay safe and avoid falling victim to these scams. The number one tell sign of these phishing messages is usually them trying to convince you to activate the link. Here's the typical pattern. An unknown sender, a message claiming urgency, a link that isn't clickable, and instructions to activate the link. Now, once again, the reason the link isn't activated or highlighted is because iMessage on iPhones has built-in protection to prevent phishing scams. However, if you follow the instructions and activate the link by replying or copy and pasting it into Safari, you risk compromising your personal data. So here's the message I received on January 1st. In this case, they're pretending to be US Postal Services. Later, I'll show you another example where they impersonate uh, like a toll service. But here's the US Postal Service example. The message will read like this. USPS delivery team. Our staff was unable to deliver your package on time because the address information provided was incomplete. Please complete it within the next 24 hours. Then you'll have the unclickable link. And then you'll have, please reply Y. Then to exit the message, reopen the text message to activate the link or copy the link into Safari browser to open it and get the latest logistic status. Thank you for choosing the USPS team. The link is usually not clickable, it's not highlighted, or it's not in blue. In this particular example, it is because I deleted the message and then brought it back. So my iPhone thinks that I actually know the sender. In any case, in the example, the link won't be clickable. There will be instructions to activate the link by replying to the message or copying it into a browser. This is a classic phishing attempt designed to catch you off guard and steal your personal information. In this other example, you can see that it's a unpaid hold, supposedly, from January 6th. And to avoid excessive late fees and possible lawsuit over your bill, please pay in timely manner. Thank you for your cooperation and enjoy your vacation. So anything that's trying to tell you that you could potentially you know, be sued over this, that urgency aspect of it should be a red flag immediately. And once again, you'll see the unclickable link and then instructions for you to reply to the message in order to activate it. So obviously there's a bunch of red flags here and you'll want to avoid replying to any message like this. This particular phishing tactic has been gaining a lot of traction over the past month and unfortunately many iPhone users have fallen victim to it. That's why I wanted to jump on here and keep you updated. If you receive a message like this and happen to be expecting a package, here's some of the things you should do. Go directly to the official website Use your tracking number to check for any updates on the US Postal Services, UPS, or FedEx website, or the appropriate service. 
do not activate any inactive links. If the link isn't clickable in your message, don't follow any instructions to enable it. Basically, do not reply to the message. Next, avoid using the link to contact the sender. Instead, call the official number listed on the company's website for any clarification. And last, use iMessage built-in report junk feature. Simply report the message as junk and it will be automatically deleted. Following these best practices can help you avoid compromising your personal data and keep you safe from these types of phishing scams. The goal here is to keep your personal data safe and secure, as this type of phishing attack has targeted so many people recently. I really hope this video helps you stay protected. Please share this video with your friends, family, and anyone you think could benefit from this information. It's a simple step that can make a big difference in keeping everyone safe from these phishing attempts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this information helpful and I'll catch you in the next video.